In this video, I will install and configure ASA firewall to my existing network shown in my previous video, inter-VLAN routing with layer 3 and layer 2 switches. In this firewall, I will be using the command line to configure the inside and outside interfaces, HTTP server, user account, access list to permit ICMP, static routes, policy map, and then use Advanced Security Device Manager to configure port address translation. I will also configure NXOS interface connected to the firewall and add a route for VLAN access to the outside network. And finally, test for connectivity by pinging from guest 1 all the VLAN gateways, workstations connected to different VLANs, firewall interfaces, an outside network gateway, and DNS server. On Cisco ASA, configure outside interface. Enable HTTP server and allow access from the outside. Create a user account Cisco with a privilege of 15. Configure inside interface. Create an extended access list 101 and 102 with ICMP to be able to ping from inside to outside. Apply access list 102 from the outside going in and access list 101 from inside going in. Create a route for all inside networks to the outside network. Create routes to the four VLANs since there's no way for the ASA to know that they exist. They are not directly connected to the ASA. Directly connected network are automatically added to the routing table. Create an ICMP policy map.
and save the configuration. On NX OS, configure interface E2 slash 15. Add a route of all VLANs to the ASA inside interface and save the configuration. From Windows 10, run ASDM application. Before implementing network address translation or port address translation, ping from guest 1, VLAN gateways, hosts, firewall and outside network to confirm that we have connectivity between VLANs and no connectivity to the outside network. As you can see, we are unable to ping outside network. Power up Windows DNS server, which we will use for testing. On Windows 10, configure port address translation by running Startup Wizard on Advanced Security Device Manager as shown. Note that the manually created configuration can be seen on this graphical user interface, verify for proper settings.
from guest one, test for connectivity between VLAN gateways, host, firewall interface, and outside network. You should be able to ping the outside network by now. Stay tuned for my next video.